We're able to have a very good sense of translating what's going on upside down. You have a very good position mobile attack. If we're here and he's passing, right? I'm here, that's right there. This is reverse daily heel. Like reverse daily worm. Like that he's the tail, leg, and that's better here. It's reverse daily worm. But now from here, okay, as he slowly begins to pass, you begin to invert here, okay? And I can get here, and I can get here, and I can get here. Can come back. Yeah, yeah, she can wait here. And you have that. You just have to practice inversions. A lot of opportunities happen from that point right here. Because otherwise, look, this is common, right? It, it, it creates a problem for him because I don't want to be here and him knee cutting right here. But if that's the case, then you have the knee shield right here to do that. If he's already getting past here, okay? So I, I want to keep him here. The question is, is his knee down? Is his knee up? Yeah, because typically they're gonna have it up and their knee is gonna be here. Because what he's gonna wanna ultimately do is eventually somehow stand up and roll me more so towards my back so that he can get past the shield here and then get past the knee, okay? So when this happens here, sure I can be here, but eventually he'll push that down. You hear, look, here, and then you just basically begin to invert underneath here, here, and you keep inverting, keep inverting here. you guys to get here for the gable grip right but sometimes this right here is not enough okay just kind of pulling he's tucking he's maybe pulling my wrist down here yeah so that's what they mean my do you reach for your elbow here and then you go and you finish it even that hand right here he's pulling I can go here get here and then bring the elbow down, and I'm pushing, pu I'm pulling my elbow this way, and, lo oops, and locking it in here. With my right elbow, inner, I'm pulling my left hand, which would replicate if I wanted to do this. But you need all that space. So sometimes when they're holding, and they're pulling, actually even the, the hand right here, it can start slipping. I don't have enough hand to reach, because the second I open up the hand, he pulls it down. Yes, right here, okay. And it's a problem. I mean, obviously I can go here and all that kind of stuff, but you're, you'll be here, right? And you lock it just so you can't pull it down, but you don't have enough to finish, okay? And your right hand comes up, grabs your elbow here, and your elbow pulls that hand here. And it's really super tight right here. If he grabs here, your right hand can come through here, push this, grab it here, and then I'm basically pulling him this way and driving my shoulder in off the back tape. And it's nice because it worked on him over there, it works here. I'm sure it works if Damien Maya says it works, you know what I mean? Because he's the one that I got this one through here, here. And I remember I pushed this down here and brought it up right here. That was also Damien Maya, but here you can but going back to invert. So, I watch a lot of uh, Instagram and YouTube, so you guys know where your techniques are coming from. Look, I'm here, I underhook here, okay? And now the question is, what am I gonna do? What I've been doing is this. I've been watching for this leg, That's 
blocks off of inversion. He's passing with a low or high or whatever it may be. I'm here and I go here. Look, and I go right here. And I keep it just the way I taught it to you. Here. stomach thinking he could roll but you lock it up as they roll because you begin to understand there's only so many ways that he can move it's very limited and as he comes across he's not thinking he's thinking missing here and as he's coming across and rolling out of it you shoot this one through here here but if not he rolls he keeps rolling and now you have this you're not getting out of that this is really super tight. So I'm not too hyper fixated on this. It's nice to get it because it's fun and fancy. But this is right here, very basic. Did you say with the, the gi, just because the gi pants? Um, yeah, sometimes, cool. yeah, yeah. Go on. Because look, now I'm here. Same position. I just went forward. Because the problem here is you, you start here and he's pinching his knees. So there's pressure here and here. It's hard to push your leg through. So when you sit back, his arms are free. He's not gonna sit there and yeah, he's moving and he's trying to do something, you know, you know and, and he can basically get out of it. But when you roll forward, Especially this one, because otherwise he's gonna roll to his back. If he rolls to his back, you wind up in a 50-50. So as I go here, I stretch this out here, okay? Because if I don't control this, okay, he will bring that knee under me. Under, roll, roll, okay, your back, your back. And you wind up in a 50-50, which is one of the shittiest positions to be in, I can't stand it. Number one, it's an equal position. And then you're stuck. I mean, you can just pull like that and pull up. But that, the point is that you don't want to be in the It's hard to come up, it's hard to get out of it. In the end. So, when you go forward, you're passing here. Look, the first daily you were here. Yeah. But he has to keep me here. See how I, it's hard for me to get underneath? And he underhooks in front of my shin. And he gets, and this hand comes here, and he begins to just dive underneath. Yeah. See how fast that happened? And now you've got a piece of the track and back people over here. Put this foot in, and then oh, one, two. Yeah. So you pass him. He gets a daily healer. You get through it here. Now you're in here. This is just now look. It's easier for me. It's easier for me to get here and begin to extend this. 
as I catch this here, because now I don't let him bring this underneath. And he's probably gonna want to roll as over here, because now he's stuck. From here, I can keep pulling it right here, but he's not going to be able to get into 50-50 here. There's no space for him to bring it out. So here, I don't have enough torque, but I can always let this go. here, I can always let this go, finish it this way, or just be here, finish it, I like doing this one, here, okay, that's just to give you guys an idea, but look, so remember this position is the engine, right, just to give you guys perspective here, here, and I'm sitting on him, I don't want to be off, I want this pressure be on him here. Right? If you flip it all upside down, I gotta just catch this foot. Right here. It's the same thing, except it's just upside down, and in fact, it's a lot more deceptive get into it from the bottom. Watch this. This is when he's standing. Now he gets into my half guard right here. Right? Push him away, the seat goes down. Yeah. Right here. Look. Just to give you guys an idea about this. But what I want to 